Here I am, as promised, talking about why I use the stationery I do for my bullet journal. As I said in my previous video, you do not need anything fancy to start bullet journaling. You just need a notebook and a pen. However, a lot of people have asked me what I actually use, so that's why this video exists. Now you can see behind me, I have all the stationery that I use for my bullet journal right here. <laughs> It's not a lot. Over the years I've really whittled down what I actually use for my bullet journal. And something I have learned about myself is that I like to have colourful spreads, but sometimes I don't have the energy to do them during the week. But I found a system that works for me and I will be sharing that with you a bit later. But first off, we better talk about the journal itself. Now I have always used the Leuchtturm 1917. I'm probably saying that wrong, but what I'll do is I'll write it so that you've got it there. And if you are, I think it's German, um, I'm really sorry for butchering your language. But this is a gorgeous notebook, and I know there are a lot of other ones on the market, but honestly, this one works really well for me, and until I find one that is as functional for me as this one, I don't really see much point in changing. So let me tell you why I like the Leuchtturm. First off, the colors. I've had a different color every year. Uh, they have a massive, massive range of them and the bright colors just make sure that i don't lose it i am always losing my keys losing my phone i have never ever lost a bullet journal because they're always bright blue or bright yellow bright green so that just really vibes with me to be honest they also come with a couple of stickers and one for the front just for a label and they also come with one for your spine uh, which i use at the end of the year so that i can sort of catalog them and then if i need to go back to August 2016, um, I can just find it. Wasn't actually bullet journaling in 2016, but it would have been useful if I was. It also comes with two ribbons. I think quite a lot of notebooks come with these, but I do like the distinction between the striped one and the plain one, um, just because I tend to put the striped one on my monthly spread and the clear one on my dailies. And it makes it really easy to flip back and forth. It has a nice elastic band to keep it all together. It means it's not gonna sort of fly open in your bag. And you can also hook pens on it, although I tend to just do that if I'm feeling really lazy. Now inside is where I really think the Leuchtturm comes into its own. You have an envelope pocket at the end, um, so you can store stickers, uh, washi tapes, things like that, just little bits. Little bit. You have a nice landing page at the front, which is a really small thing, but it's nice to have somewhere to sort of put your name and a key if you want. Then you have an inbuilt index, which if you're getting started with bullet journaling is really, really useful because it means you don't have to draw out your own index. All of the pages are numbered, which makes them really easy to refer back to from your index. And this particular one has 251 pages. So plenty, as long as you're not doing literally an entire page for a day. I've not had much trouble with bleed through on the paper itself. Um, it's not particularly thick. Um, but I do find that it feels quite nice and as someone that is very texture orientated that is important to me But one of my favorite things about this is that it has dotted Pages now I find this really useful for getting that clean and ordered look to my page But without those horrible lines going across the whole page that can make it kind of feel a bit overwhelming sometimes. I don't know, it helps to keep everything straight, but it gives me that flexibility if I do wanna draw circles and doodles everywhere. Onto the pens. I don't have anything fancy, but I do really like the look of a fine liner on my page. So I use these Faber-Castell pens. Um, they're Pit Artist pens, um, and I tend to use either the F, um, the small, the extra small if I'm feeling very precise on like flowers or something um, but I tend to just use one of the thinner ones for my daily to do's and everything and I just keep that with the book and that is it. When I am feeling a little bit more decorative I tend to use the medium for big headers and the brush pen for if I'm feeling fancy calligraphy uh, but if I'm honest most of the time just for a nice drop shadow. A drop shadow adds a lot. Pro tip if your spread is looking bare add a drop shadow. Then I just have the basic pencil, rubber, ruler. Really, really doesn't matter what you use these for because you're gonna be rubbing them out anyway. Literally, my ruler is broken. I, you know what, actually, no. I will endorse this rubber. This is a stud, studler rubber. 
and I know from GCSE art that these are one of the best rubbers, I would argue, on the planet. So I don't know, if you're going to get a good rubber, get one of these, but you can use any rubber. And then I just use an HB pencil. If I'm honest, I normally just go straight in with the pen, um, but for things like calendars, things that are going to need a bit more planning, I will use a ruler and a pencil sometimes. And then lastly, I use little pastel highlighters. Now, I talked earlier about wanting a bit of colour and a bit of spice in my journal, but not really having the energy or willpower to doodle every night. So, what I do is at the start of each month, I pick a key colour. So for example, this month is purple. And then, that goes in the pencil case, and that is the main colour I use for most of the month. Now if I do get that little burst of creative energy and I think, oh, I'd love to like doodle or decorate or whatever, that's when I get out a little box of washi tapes and pens and things and I'll decorate what I've already done in my bullet journal. That's the key and I'll tell you why. If I start doodling and sticking things all over my pages, then it disrupts the functionality. And what do I always preach? Functionality. They're supposed to boost your productivity, not hold you up with, oh God, I've got to spend an hour doodling. If you are an artist and you love to draw and it's your hobby, that's how you spend your free time, go for it. And that is why when I do get those creative bursts, I love decorating my journal. But on a day-to-day -day basis, I don't want to. So I just use that one highlighter and it's enough to give the page enough interest for me to be interested in it and therefore I'm more likely to complete my to-dos. See, functionality. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I'd be interested to know what stationery you use if you've been bullet journaling for a while. And if you're new to bullet journaling, um, please let me know how you're getting on. Like I said, this is just what I use. You can bullet journal with just a biro and a notepad. Don't stress. Thanks again for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.